10,000 Australians. Can everyone get off the grass, please? Sure. Let's just move back from there. Hey, guys, I've just reseated that. Yeah, please, Sorry, off the man. thing. Sorry, man. This Australian gentleman would wear something strong and offensive like YSL Kuros because he clearly gives zero Fs. Guys, this video idea might be one of my best yet. We're gonna decide for a man who is a resident in each of these countries that you guys have submitted on Instagram, what would be the perfect fragrance for them to wear every day based on their culture and their general climate. We're gonna go through 10 different countries. It will your country make the list, let's see. And if your country is on this list, guys, share down below in the comments do you agree with my decisions and what do you think would be the perfect fragrance for your country let's get into the video class is in session the first submission is by capture the frag who has a hilarious fragrance meme page by the way on instagram i recommend you follow him he is from germany and i've never been to germany myself but from my experience with german people they seem to be quite Blunt, straightforward, hardworking, and efficient. So for my submission, I'm gonna give you something that just works and is strong. So here we are. Germans should wear Terre d'Hermes Eau de Toilette. This is Germany in a bottle, in my opinion. It's strong, it's long lasting, it works, and it's just a beautiful 10 out of 10 fragrance. I don't think any German will hate this. It works perfectly in most climates, and I definitely think it works in the general mild European climates of Germany. Strong, earthy, orange, perfect masterpiece in my opinion still to this day the eau de toilette a sadek has submitted egypt my country of origin where i was born for the shabab the young men of this country not uh, the extremist group i want to suggest something that works for us in egypt we have very hot climate of course but then we also have air conditioning indoors i believe a lot of guys in egypt do wear dior sauvage we like our fresh sharp scents it seems in general although there's obviously love for ooze orientals in any uh, middle eastern country or arab country um so we are gonna go for something still fresh and sharp but different to dior sauvage something that works with our sweat we are busy guys in Egypt, uh, doing a lot of things. Imagine the chaos of Cairo. You have to have a fragrance that has performers and can keep up with that kind of lifestyle. Mancera's Cedrat Boise. A lot of you guys in Egypt should definitely try this out. If you don't know it, it is one of the best Creed Aventus alternatives. I will not say clone because it's different enough from Creed Aventus, but it generally has more consistent performance and it's got a bigger compliment factor. It's more synthetic than Aventus, but I think for the price tag, Mancera's Cedrat Boise is king in the Aventus DNA game. Arts and Tales have submitted Sweden. I've been to Sweden once in my life, been to Malmo for an afternoon from commuting from Denmark. And when I think of Sweden, I think of very attractive people, both the girls and the men. And it's, got a, it's obviously got a, a more traditionally cold climate, especially the more north you go. And uh, you can sometimes see the northern lights. I think you want to hear a beautiful fragrance. I think you want something that's a classical, warm uh, but at the same time I think if it's gonna be a daily scent it's gonna have some sort of cooling effect to it I have chosen this little known fragrance the original Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal it's got the sexiness of the cinnamon and vanilla but at the same time it's got that cooling factor I said from the mint I think a lot of people used to wear this as a signature daily scent anyways back in the day when it was stronger I still think it can be a signature daily scent it's obviously a little bit more close to the skin, performs maybe about six hours, but I still think this is easily worth having in the collection. And I still think you uh, attractive guys in Scandinavia would do well to have this as your daily signature scent. Stamati has submitted Greece. Now, I've never been to Greece myself, but there's quite a lot of Greek people in London. And from those that I've met, I get the impression that yes, it's a hot Mediterranean country, the personality types in Greece are quite fun, loud and outgoing. So in my opinion, you want a fragrance to match that. Something sexy, fun, playful and loud. I'm going to suggest Moschino's Toy Boy. Unfortunately, I don't think this fragrance is selling that well on the market because I always see it on discounters now. So before, when it was a full price, I thought that this fragrance was already a steal. Now it's definitely a steal for how cheap you can find it. It's beautiful interesting a little bit of an acquired taste it's a rose fragrance which i would consider actually unisex not necessarily purely masculine but it's a big compliment getter a big head turner and it lasts 12 hours and the best part is is i think you can wear this all year round i think this would be perfect for a 
handsome Greek guy who's uh, going on a boat or likes to go to a lot of parties. If you want to get a lot of girls' attention, I think Toy Boy is the way to go. Now we've had USA submitted three times in one comment. For the USA, I felt that it's because it's such a large country and it's got such a large population, it's gonna need to have two different fragrances for it. One for the West Coast and one for the East. And you guys in the middle of the country, I don't know, just choose either one. Let's start off with the West Coast. Prada Luna Rosa Sport. I can just imagine a cool guy in his convertible car, in the, driving along Venice Beach, would wear something like this. It's still fresh, but at the same time sexy, warm. It's a cool fragrance, it's sporty. Americans obviously love their sport. Whether you're a baseball player, a guy playing, trying to play for the NBA, whatever you're choosing, uh, you're gonna love this fragrance, I think. I do think you can be worn as your daily scent and then transition into the gym or transition into uh, a sports game, for example. I think it's just a really easy fragrance to wear. They took the Lamal DNA and Prada made it a bit more soapy, more fresh and more of a daily uh, wear fragrance. And then when I think of East Coast, I think of serious business people trying to make it in the financial world or those trying to make it big on Broadway. This is the fragrance I recommend. Bulgari's Man in Black. The scent profile of this is basically perfect. This is one of the best fragrances on the designer market. It's boozy, dark, mature and interesting. This can be a very much unique signature fragrance. Definitely works better at night time, but I just think anyone who wants to smell elegant and also professional as well, and a little bit sexy, will enjoy this fragrance. It's just a really great fragrance in general. It's done the boozy, spicy DNA perfectly well. One of the best from Bulgari for sure. Those of you in New York, try this fragrance out. And of course, when the USA is in a video, you know Canada has to be included as well. Now, I appreciate you guys have warmer weather in the summertime like most other countries, but what I do think of Canada, I do think again of super cold winters, minus 30 degrees Celsius uh, with you guys. So I think Canada really needs to have one of the best cold weather fragrances on the market, period. Parfum de Marly's Carlisle. This fragrance is more challenging than another fragrance like Leighton in the brand, but I do still think it competes with Leighton for the number one spot in Parfum de Marly. I think Carlisle is a masterpiece. If you want a super interesting, unique, dark, super warm fragrance that transforms completely on your skin and lasts easily over 14 hours, Carlisle is fantastic for the price. I do think, yes, it is expensive, but it's one of those fragrances that smells like its price tag. So yes, if you wanna really have one of the best winter fragrances ever created, Canadians need to check out Carlisle. This is meant for you guys. Shout out to all you guys in India. I definitely had to include you guys on here. I've been to India whilst transiting uh, at airports in Mumbai and Delhi, but I have spent a fair bit of time in Nepal next door, which does share some similarities with you guys in terms of climate. I know it can get extremely hot and extremely humid at the same time in India, so I think you brothers over there need to wear this fragrance if you want something that's easy and safe. Versace Porom. Yes, I know this is not a hidden gem, but personally, if I was traveling to uh, India, I would wear this every day. This would be my first pick with me on those travels uh, because Versace, Versace Porom is, is a super classic, Easy, wear, easy to wear DNA, good performance. I get six to eight hours, and when you sweat with this fragrance, it becomes more beautiful in my opinion. Any heat that you get with this, it becomes more, uh, more, more appealing with this fragrance, I think. It works well with sweats, and I do think that uh, it won't really annoy you. This fragrance is difficult to annoy anyone with. It's got clean, musky neroli in here, so I think Alberto Marias did a fantastic job with this. Versace Purom for you guys in India. Let's take it down a notch on the climate meter. Let's make it more mild and talk about over here in the UK. What can we grow in the UK here? Not a lot, but we do grow our own lavender and our own lavender absolute. So I think we should have a fragrance that focuses on that and something that resembles the refined English gentleman. And what better way to do that than with an American brand, Tom Ford Beau Du Jour. Us guys in England can easily rock this every day of the year, no problem. It has some heaviness to it, but overall it's a sharp barbershop fragrance with a lot of lavender and some modern sexiness in here with the amber. A lot of people don't appreciate this fragrance, how many compliments it gets to you. It lasts 12 hours, but at the same time it's loud. You get a small bottle like this, go two sprays and you're good for the entire day. A lot of people will smell you and you smell refined. It smells clean, easy to wear. 
one of the most underrated fragrances in Tom Ford for sure. Beau du jour. Okay, let's go back to Australia for real. If you're not the guy in the intro of this video, I think you'd wear something bright and beautiful. If you're trying to survive every animal trying to kill you in Australia, you might as well smell great while doing it. Goldfield & Banks Bohemian Lime. I think it's appropriate that an Australian brand knows how to make a fragrance for Australians. It is a finger lime fragrance. There's not any ordinary citrus note in here. That is the caviar of the, of the citrus world, and I think this is the caviar of the fresh summer fragrance world as well. This is much more smooth than any designer fragrance I've ever smelled. I've always said before, this smells like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense mixed with uh, Roger's Elysium. It's super smooth, super citrusy, and lasts a good amount of time, about six hours. A lot of Australians obviously have good weather most of the year round, and they're doing a lot of outdoor activities. So when you're avoiding and batting away those massive tarantulas in your house, those tarantulas are probably trying to get to you because you smell so nice with bohemian lime. And let's do one more country, Mexico. I've been to Mexico once and what I associate with Mexico is Cancun. All right, I went there for a trip. I associate Mexico with bright uh, tropical climates, the beautiful beaches there. Quite a fun party-based lifestyle, uh, which of course varies where you are in Mexico, but that's what I associated with. So I would actually recommend this fragrance. Jack Fat. Caracao Bay. This fragrance was sent in to me for review, but it's easily become one of my favorite fragrances. I've been wearing this a lot recently. This smells like a Creed Virgin Island Water had a baby with Nautica Voyage, but you get much better performance than Virgin Island Water and you get nowhere near as much of a synthetic nature to this fragrance as Nautica Voyage. So overall, what does it smell like? It smells like a soapy, clean coconut cocktail fragrance. It's for the kind of guy who wants a tropical vibe to their scent, but they want to be able to wear that vibe every single day, all year round. I think this works perfectly as a clean signature, a party signature, tropical climate, as well as rainy days in Mexico. If anyone wants to try this fragrance before buying it, you can by going on Jack Fat's website. They give you all of their samples, and technically the price of the samples are free, but you pay for shipping, which can vary based on where you are in the world. This is a fantastic fragrance, and so far it is my favorite from Jack Fat. But as I said, look forward to the video that they are sponsoring, which is going to be our most exciting video yet. That concludes our video. Do you guys agree with my assessments of these countries if your country made this list? If it didn't, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer what I think the best fragrance should be. But of course, there are a lot of countries out there and I don't know them all. So guys, make sure to share your thoughts with today's video topic. I'm sure it'll be interesting uh, down below. Make sure to check out our other videos in the meantime. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Class dismissed.